All right, Adam, how's it going? Uh, looks like you just completed a solar project here. Why don't you tell us some cool things about it? We're almost done with this project. It's not completely finished yet. It's actually not turned on, but uh, we've got three Viper 360 amp hour lithium batteries, a Victron inverter, and then we have a Victron 150 100 solar controller, a Victron 150 solar controller, two Orion 50 DC to DC chargers, and then our switches, service switches, breakers to turn things on and off, inverter switch. But the focus is the two Orion XS 50s is for capturing uh, 100 amps coming off of the alternator so that he can rapidly charge his battery bank while traveling. So he has two Victron Orion DC to DC chargers and one 120 amp alternator. How fast can he reasonably expect to charge his batteries while driving? Yeah, so it really just depends on how far he's going to drive, right? 100 amps per hour, slightly reduced because with a lithium battery bank, the voltage almost always is going to get increased, which reduces the amps that are going into the batteries. But it's usually going to be around 48, 47. So it's pretty close to 50 on each each of the DC to DC chargers. Um, so he's going to get about 96, 97 amps per hour. Take a four or five hour trip. He's got almost four or 500 amps going into the batteries. How many solar panels would he have to have on his roof on a bright sunny day to equate to that one hour of driving? Yeah, yeah good question. So you would, so the 150, 100 solar controller is the equivalent of two DC to DC 50 Orions. It'll charge up to 100 amps. And the maximum to get or the solar that you need to get to that point is 1,450 watts. So you would need seven panels to get up to 1,400 watts-ish. Yeah, so solar panels are rated at about 80 to 90% efficiency. So even if you have 1,450 exact watts, you're usually gonna get about 1,150 to 1,300 watts out of that based on conditions and how clean the panels are. So really you could, you could increase your total amount of panels and then expect your efficiency to come down to that 100. So you'd need like around 1600 watts to capture that true number. So Adam, he's got a pretty large roof. How many solar panels or how many watts of solar were you able to fit up on this roof? We have uh, six solar panels on the roof, 200 watts each. So 1200 watts. So you came close to matching how fast you can charge off of solar versus alternator charging is that correct yeah unintentionally yeah roof space doesn't always match up to alternator output just kind of worked out that way <laughs> yeah and then he also has a a second solar controller which is going to manage uh portable solar that we're connecting through an anderson connection so he'll have multiple solar panels that are unregulated meaning no controller they'll be tied into the anderson connection and that will come in and go uh, directly to that 150 solar controller so he can have the I think it's 600 watts he, he's gonna have of portable solar and then he'll have the 1200 watts on the roof so altogether 1800 watts how long could someone reasonably camp off-grid in this kind of setup yeah his system he's gonna run out of food and water before he runs out of power Yep. And he's got AC power, DC power. Everyone has their different things. Some customers have electric surfboards that they charge. And other ones have those little electric scooters and uh, drones. And so they have all these things, electric bicycles, that they're charging in addition just to just running their RV appliances, lights and pumps. And then they have, uh, this one has a Starlink system that we installed. So he's going to have internet and he's going to be doing remote work while he's out, you know, enjoying nature. What is the average time frame for a project like this from first phone call to final pickup? Yeah, I, I think I gave him a nest it maybe a month ago and, and then he brought it in. It's been here a week and a half and we're just about finished. Hopefully we'll be finished tomorrow. Got to test it all. Um, so it all depends. I mean, sometimes someone will call me and there'll be an opening and I can get it done 
within a week and a half of them initial phone call to us being done, which is actually this Travato. They called me and, but we're just putting two lithium batteries, a battery monitor and one solar panel. So it's not to the same size and scope. And this one's tricky because we have to work way back there. It's almost eight feet to the back. I mean, it's far. And so you have to crawl in there and slide in and out over and over throughout the day. Yeah, you, this, this tray is usually all the way to the back. This one happened to get modified before we touched it, but usually we have to modify the tray. But the tray is kind of helpful because you can like completely lay in it. This one's like halfway. So, you know, every project's different. Every project has its challenges. And the nice thing is we can get everything on one wall, nice and clean, easy to access, and it looks good.